success. They are having some success. They got a healthy lineup, which is part of it because marketing them to get the ball going. Thad Young is going to take it coast to coast. And that is Oladipo. Hello in my return. Happened back in 2013 here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse as a member of the Philadelphia 76ers and Markkinen and the Bulls. Had he had a 15.8 rebound game when these teams played at Bankers Life Fieldhouse back in December. Oladipo a three over Holiday and hello again. He has some freedom of movement because of Victor being on the floor. And Turner for three and a great start for Mike. I've seen so many slow starts by this Pacers team. They had a slow start against the Bulls the last time these teams played as Holiday six. That's deflected. Markkinen, Valentine for three. Those are the kind of plays you need to make. A lot of energy away from the uh, second unit. That's Oladipo. Oladipo on the run will take it right at Dunn and lay it in. And it them exert all the energy you can because you know that they don't have a lot of reserve in their tank. Late, uh, Pacers have not played since Wednesday, losing in Milwaukee by 21. That was their fifth straight loss as Collison dials three and hits his second of the night. Again, that's a wide open three. One and six tenths, and it's all the team again. He did a great job anticipating that. That's, that is the second steal, but that's at least his third or fourth. 31-19 Pacers advantage. They're at 500 now after the five straight losses at 19 and 19. And for the first time in quite a while was Miritich in the corner. He made eight of them against the Pacers. Domas Sabonis and Lance Stevenson. So when we're seeing a true second unit on the floor for Indiana. Seeing eye pass. It sure was. That's a pass that I'm not sure how it got here. See the ball is, is moving around. It moved around that right. And what was it? Okay, let's say with the second. One gave a high five to TJ Leaf. Now I talked with Dan Burke before the game about how things have been going over the last couple weeks. He said, we question ourselves sometimes. Do we play guys too many minutes? He said, should we have been playing TJ Leaf more? He wants to get that second unit more action as Corey Joseph goes in to score, but TJ is rewarding the coaching staff for the Really didn't want to shoot it in there. Hey! Grant. Good defense by Joe. And the Pacers have a five on four advantage with Joseph. Oh, that, that bad pass caused that shot. That pass is so high there was no way for Young to get it to shoot it. Joe Young had a 20 point game here, a career high the last time he played here as Leaf adds three more. As you can see, he, he's ready. That had some smoke on it. Done. Over Sabonis. But look, part look at how difficult the shots are they're trying to take because the Pacers' defense has been that so good. A little stop and go by Joe forces a timeout by the Bulls and Freddie Orberg. The return of Victor Oladipo has energized it. And at the next dead ball, Young met by Lopez. He knocked it away. Here come the Bulls. Holiday is back in. He goes inside and scores. And they call the foul. Chance for a three-point play. It's on. Chris Dunn was the Big East player of the year when he played at Providence. He's guarding Nola Depot who goes inside. Oh, they got blocked. Holiday got back to that. Shot's got to go up. Shot clock is down. And Sabonis dials three. Yeah, that's a good sign there. Shot clock was at about four and he got it. Bad young. Step back against Lopez. Damian Wilkins, his 150th career start tonight. The last time he started, 38% from the field. They shot 56% in the first quarter. They are 4 of 19 here in the second. Call needs to move. One person has the ball in his hand a little too long. Now keep it going. Extra pass, Wilkins in the corner for three. That's what you get. I mean, it went from the left side to the right side. Defense has to recover. Uh, that's, that was the decision. It scored 13 against the Pacers. This time it's no good again by Turner. They double team um, on the people that time. See, they come down and they made five points. They double team them. And, and four. 25th time this year. 
has come back with a vengeance, and here he comes again. A pull-up three. Ola Depot oh. with three more. Boy, he, he let that one go and knew right away that was good. Yes. It was Miles Turner, yeah. and with the return of Ola Depot, we saw him score 11 first quarter points. Well, it's helped. With you, you know, I, 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 what I don't want to get carried away with is, is whether or not that, in fact, stays the case. But it's helped Miles to have Victor back on the floor. See, can that continue? And Young with a nice move with the Pacers this by 31. He's a music market in this time. Raw Ripple earlier today. Jeremiah Johnson was out there. But there were so many young kids out there in the winter basketball leagues playing. And that's a great thing for the Pacers organization now to be a part of. I, I totally agree. I mean, I, we were able to see it as Gerald. <laughs> David Gerald is points back in December. He has 13 with three threes and has some experience playing here in Big Ten tournament games with Michigan State. Well, he does. The thing he doesn't have, Chris, that's a fourth three. And then he, will, he doesn't have assists. And, and for Valentine, much more so with Sabonis than anybody else. Miles Turner had to go to the bench. He has four fouls. Sabonis passed up the shot. Now goes inside. Shot clock down to four. And Collison hits the three. That's confident. That was a tough shot. That Depot uses the Sabonis screen inside, and Domas lays it in. He does a good job reading the double team. They, they got the Bulls got um, Victor, but they didn't clamp on him, and Victor was quick enough to release the ball against Sabonis, and he's a shot in the lane. A year ago on basketball, uh, basketball day, Indiana, it was in December. The Pacers had to rally to win. No rally looked to be needed tonight as they have dominated the Bulls here. Marking it with time for three. He's a 34% three-point shooter. Not Anywhere other than inside the paint, that's a that's a heat check. When this was a Pacers team over this 11-game stretch, going three and eight as Markkanen loads again from three-point range. They were struggling in assists last night in their comeback win in Dallas against the Mavericks. Again, this was a Bulls team when Oladipo hit the three back in December, and here's a three from T.J. Leaf. A really good beat by Lance Stevens. Man was going to help with the hard roll there by Sabonis. The Pacers hit the century mark, and we still have a quarter to play. But I'll tell you what, I'd much rather be on yes. this side of this yes. kind of game than the other side. Uh, yes. The other side's unbearable. It, it really is. It, it's the feel for everybody involved. I mean, all of the guys, and you know, even you know, even for the people in the office. Great catch there by Lee. Left-handed pass there for Boy Joseph. So you can see these guys have, have played something together. Or I should say how easy Lee. Joseph lost the ball. Shot clock at six. Joseph running out of time. Gets it away and doesn't get the roll. But Stevenson, the offensive rebound. And he'll reward Joseph for three. And it's going, it's going. A heck of a rebound. A heck of a, a contribution uh, to what the Pacers do. I mean, in so many ways. Now, he can't have impacted the way that Victor can. I don't think there's any question about that. But he, oh, take that. Oh, that's on your head, Mr. Zips up. Uh, uh. Well, you know, with the new, um, uh, if you will, uh, all-star balloting, what that allows, if, if it's he or, or whomever the first two vote getters are, they get a chance to choose, which is very, di this is different than it has ever been before. I think it's kind of good, frankly. I think Violation, a huge win tonight for the Indiana Pacers as they route the Chicago Bulls 125 to 86. It's not only a huge win in terms of score, it's a, I'm telling you, it's a big emotional win. And guys can feel good about what they've been been able to accomplish, and particularly over the last few days where I know they worked very hard in practice.